Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, cyclic quadrilateral uh, ABCD fully inscribed uh, in a circle with the center O, uh, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this chord uh, AD is equal to this chord uh, CD. This chord is uh, 10 units long and this chord is 10 units uh, as well. And moreover, uh, this chord uh, BC is uh, 17 units. And AB is the diameter of this uh, circle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on these uh, three vertices, A, B, and uh, D. All of these points are on the circle. And now we are going to connect uh, these two points, B and D, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the Thales theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, A, B, and D are our three distinct points uh, on the circle, where the line AB is the diameter, then the angle uh, ADB is going to be a right angle. In other words, uh, that angle is going to be 90 degrees. So no wonder our this angle uh, ADB is uh, 90 degrees. Since uh, A, B, and D are the vertices uh, on this uh, very same circle, and uh, A, B is the diameter. And now let's make an observation. We can see these two chords, uh, A, D, and uh, C, D are congruent. So therefore, uh, these two arcs, uh, A, D, and C, D are going to be congruent uh, as well. And for this arc, uh, this is our angle. I'm going to label that one our angle alpha. Then for uh, this arc, uh, our this angle is going to be same as this angle. So this is going to be alpha as well. So therefore, we can see that uh, BD is the angle uh, bisector over here. And now we are going to think outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have extended these chords uh, A, D, and uh, B, C, and they intersect each other at this point P. And now let's focus on this uh, big triangle uh, A, B, P. And let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, B, D is uh, perpendicular, and B, D is an angle bisector as well. So therefore, uh, this uh, chord AD is going to be equal to this segment uh, PD. If this chord uh, AD is uh, 10 units long, then uh, this segment uh, PD is going to be 10 units as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ABP is an isosceles uh, triangle. In other words, uh, this side, uh, which is the diameter AB, is going to be equal to this side uh, BP. And now I'm going to label uh, this whole uh, diameter AB as uh, X. Then this uh, side uh, BP is going to be X as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole side uh, BP is X and this chord uh, BC is 17. So therefore uh, this segment uh, PC is going to be X minus uh, 17. And now since we are dealing with these uh, two secants uh, AP and uh, BP, so therefore let's recall the secant secant theorem. According to this theorem, if we have these two secants uh, AP and uh, CP, where they intersect at this point P, and moreover uh, AB and CD are the chords, then according to this uh, secant secant theorem, then we can uh, write uh, this one as uh, 
a p times uh, this segment uh, b p is going to be equal to this uh, c p times uh, this segment uh, d p as you can see in this given uh, equation and we are going to apply this uh, secant secant theorem on our this given uh, problem so therefore we can write uh, this whole uh, length uh, p b times uh, this segment uh, p c is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, side uh, p a times uh, this segment uh, p d as you can see in this uh, given equation and now let's make an observation we know our uh, this uh, p b length uh, is uh, x so i'm going to replace that one with uh, x over here our this uh, p c segment length uh, is uh, x minus 17 so therefore i'm going to replace that one with the x minus 17 over here and likewise on the right hand side our this uh, whole uh, p a length is going to be 10 uh, plus 10 is going to give us 20 so i'm going to replace this uh, p a length uh, with uh, 20 and finally this segment uh, p d length uh, is uh, 10 so i'm going to replace that one with 10 over here and now i am going to multiply by distribution so therefore we could get uh, x square minus 17 x equals to 200 and now i'm going to move 200 uh, on the other side so therefore uh, we are ended up with uh, x square minus 17 x minus uh, 200 equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation x square minus 17x uh, minus 200 equal to 0 and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring you may use the quadratic formula as well to solve this given uh, quadratic equation and now let's focus on this uh, constant uh, 200 just disregard this negative sign and we can see 200 could be broken down to 25 times uh, 8 and if we subtract uh, 25 and 8 that is going to give us uh, 17 as you can see in the middle so therefore i can tweak this uh, middle term as uh, negative uh, 25 uh, x uh, plus uh, 8 x as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see between first two terms uh, x is in common and between uh, last two terms uh, 8 is in common so therefore i can factor out x uh, so we are going to have uh, x minus uh, 25 plus i'm going to take 8 as a common so we got uh, x minus 25 equals to 0 and now we can see x minus 25 and x minus 25 they are in common so therefore i can write uh, x minus uh, 25 uh, times uh, x uh, plus 8 uh, is going to be equal to 0 and now we are going to separate these two factors so i can write uh, x minus uh, 25 uh, equal to 0 and the other factor x uh, plus 8 uh, equal to 0 for this uh, first equation x turns out to be equal to positive 25 for this uh, second equation x turns out to be equal to negative 8 and now we can see x uh, is a negative number uh, negative 8 is not uh, plausible since x is our diameter so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 25 so thus our uh, x value turns out to be positive 25 and we know x uh, represents the diameter of this circle so therefore uh, the diameter is going to be 25 uh, units and now let's assume that uh, a o is the radius uh, of this circle and i'm going to label that one uh, as lowercase r then our diameter x is going to be equal to 
to times uh, the radius r. So therefore, uh, our 2 times radius r is going to be equal to 25. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, radius r. So therefore, we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, our radius r turns out to be equal to 12.5 units. So thus, after all the calculations and manipulations, the radius of this circle turns out to be 12.5 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.